Hi y'all, it's Terhi here with another HipKit Club layout and with a voiceover. Woohoo! I'm so happy for uh, doing voiceovers because these are so much quicker to do and so much uh, faster to do. Uh, that's the same thing. Anyway, uh, I'm really happy to do voiceovers now that I have actually voice. So uh, I'm doing a mixed media layout with starting with a uh, white cardstock piece and a uh, clear gesso and some wiki boating that's a Finnish, Finnish version of the name because I have no idea how to say that last name so I'm playing with wikis uh, crayons and these are wonderful um, really similar than Prima's oil pastels but I prefer these because these are so much uh, how to say it? Well, I like these. These work better with dry, dry and with wet things. Anyway, I'm starting with just applying some to my white, white cardstock. Uh, I really love this fuchsia pink color and that's why I'm adding it a lot for this layout. Um, and as you see, this is not 12 by 12. Uh, white cardstock. It's just a piece of paper because I I'm cutting these out and of course I want to uh, use the leftover pieces. This orange is really really rich and I was really scared of it when I saw this. Um, orange is not my thing but as I'm playing it doesn't matter. Um, I sprayed some water on top and as I have the clear gesso on the bottom, uh, it will spread around. And I'm using only my finger to spread it and drawing it with, drawing with it. So it's just fun to play with this. I guess this would be perfect technique for backgrounds, you know, some kind of finger painting, maybe rainbows or something. Um, but at this point, I just wanted to color the background. And then I'm using the same crayons to um, another technique. I'm just applying some color to my palette. Um, I even sharpened the top of the crayon to make sure it's uh, much easier to play with it the next time. Uh, I added some gel medium, which will be uh, totally transparent once it's dry. And now I'm mixing it with the crayon color. It's a, a bit hard to mix it because um, um, maybe it would be easier if I added first some water and make a colorful liquid and then add the gel medium. But I didn't do that so. I have to mix, 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 mix really, really much, but it doesn't matter. Um, then I'm taking a stencil and applying uh, this, my little mix through the stencil. It will make fun effect. And as I said, the gel medium will be totally transparent after it's dry. So it will make a really nice effect, some texture, but still not too much. and. It will be nice. I let it dry completely. As you see, this video pooms. <laughs> it's much, much lighter now because uh, it took some time to try. And now I'm adding my adding, not no adding. I'm using my good old flower punch to punch some flowers to my layout. Uh, at this point, I thought I will use all these pink flowers, but uh, once I had my layout almost done, I thought, no, I don't want this really, really pink, pink, pink flowers to my layout. I want something lighter, and that's why I got also some, some peachy uh, flowers. Actually, this was the pinky, uh, but not that too pink <laughs> flowers. I'm so sorry about my English. I don't find any words because I haven't speak any English for, um, well, not for a few weeks. So I'm, I'm finding this really difficult, but let's not stick with that. Uh, I'm making a little paper cluster with our April Hip Kit papers. 
I chose only really light ones first but then I thought no this will need something darker something to make contrast because as you see the photograph is black and white and there is some really dark areas and all my papers now are really really light so it doesn't quite match perfectly um, I also used some crate paper oasis paper to cut out some um, leaves some some nice leaves for the background but still not enough uh, contrast and at this point I decided not to use those two uh, pink flowers because they don't match either and I thought if these yellow ones would be better but no 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 not too not too much uh, and at some point I decided to add some dark blue paper pieces behind the photograph and then it's better I really love the title it's from Bella Boulevard and I really love it it's um, acrylic shape uh, it's really really beautiful I like it uh, you can color it too if you want but I didn't want to uh, I wondered that I want something for the flowers and as I have some gold dot um, vellum or acetate sheet uh, between my paper layers uh, I added some dots from the exclusive HipKit Club Alphas to to make something something fun to the flowers too so this was really nice layout because it shows few techniques with wiki wikis <laughs> i don't say the last name anymore with wikis um, crayons and actually now there's a third one too this one i just add, added some of the color to my a craft mat and then mix it with water and use some brush to flick it just like mists or something um, yeah so this is really simple and nice way to add some mixed media to your page but not too much because sometimes too much is too much and I really prefer this way so thank you for watching and thank you for listening and sorry for my English but thank you for watching and have a nice day and I love you all.